Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Hallett and I'm a lecturer in the School of Medical Sciences at Bangor University. Um, I'm sitting here today with a picture of coronavirus behind me, which seemed quite appropriate, um, largely because that's why I'm sitting in my house uh, and uh, people listening to this probably are too, um, and why I'm not able to welcome uh, any visitors and students and applicants here for open days. So I thought I'd just put together a few words about our school and our undergraduate courses in particular uh, and give you a flavour some of the things that we would tell visitors on open days and to encourage you as well of course to get in touch with us if you've got any questions uh, for staff or students here. So perhaps I'll start with a little bit of information about the courses that we're running. Um, we have a, a new foundation year uh, that's been running this year for the first time and um, this is a year that uh, can lead into any one of our undergraduate degree programmes. It was designed specifically to give students, um, perhaps those without uh, the necessary sort of scientific background, um, a good grounding in biology, chemistry, maths and study skills to enable them to really succeed going on to the undergraduate courses. Uh, it's going really well. It's a small group teaching, really interactive and the students are, are really enjoying it this year. Um, the undergraduate courses we have then are um, four at the moment. Medical Sciences, a BMed Sci degree, uh, Bachelor's in Biomedical Science. This is an accredited degree, uh, which is accredited by the professional body, the Institute of Biomedical Science. Uh, we have Medical Biology and Medical Biochemistry, BSc degrees as well. Now in our undergraduate courses, um, they all sound relatively similar, but they, don't, they diverge quite significantly in years two and three, and so you know, your, wherever your interests lie, we think we have a course here for you. We have a common first year in our courses, um, and that's because so many of the underpinning subjects like cell biology, genetics, um, <clears throat> laboratory sciences, getting to grips with all the laboratory techniques, um, some of the study skills and research skills and the ways in which we um, help direct you into becoming a more self-directed uh, um, learner are really common across all of those degrees. So students are taught together in a common first year. After that, as I said, the degree streams um, split up. Um, the BSc in Biomedical Science, our accredited degree, then uh, leads you on to becoming um, a very adept laboratory scientist. Um, you study the core disciplines involved in diagnostic science, um, which is related very much to NHS pathology labs and the diagnosis that's going on um, in hospital laboratories. So things like microbiology, um, cell pathology, clinical biochemistry and haematology are the core disciplines that make up um, a much of the biomedical science degree. Now uh, there's also the option with this degree to take a year out work placement within an NHS pathology lab as well. For the uh, medical sciences degree it tends to attract students who are perhaps a little bit more focused on um, a clinical career, thinking about health and disease, um, perhaps at a more macro level as well as um, the cell and molecular biology um, that's so important in today's medical sciences. Um, so the focus in years two and three moves towards um, core subjects in physiology, human physiology, in human anatomy. We have a dissection room um, for use for those students as well, um, in therapeutics, microbiology, um, and diagnosis in a more um, theoretical way. So that sort of separates out those two degree streams. The other degree streams, uh, medical biology and medical biochemistry, then start to specialise in years two and three uh, with more of a research theme, uh, thinking about biochemistry in the field of medicine and about medical biology, which kind of leads on to um, students who are often interested in doing research, medical research um, as, a, as perhaps a later career. So we're a small school, um, but we have a, a good range of um, staff of, with backgrounds in a whole uh, different variety of disciplines. So you'll be taught by some of the core teaching staff here, such as myself. We also have lectures and practicals running by our colleagues, um, our research colleagues who work in the Northwest Cancer Research Institute in Bangor, and they form part of the School of Medical Sciences. And it means that they can really bring their world leading cutting edge research into the classroom for you. Uh, we also have good links with the local health board as well, BCUHB, in North Wales um, and we have guest lecturers coming from there that might be clinicians, pharmacists, 
um, laboratory scientists who are working uh, in the hospital labs. Um, and this really means that you're getting to hear um, what's going on in the real world, uh, what's happening at the moment in your specialist fields. So as I mentioned, we are a small school, we're a friendly school, we really pride ourselves on pastoral care. Um, students here have um, good support mechanisms, we have a personal tutor for each student and they'll be with you for the whole of the three years here. Um, we have uh, good support from our students as well, we have peer guides um, and e-buddies to answer questions um, and support students as they settle into university life. So one other new development within the school has been our collaboration with Cardiff University and their medical school there. So we now have um, students who are able to um, study medicine in Bangor for four years of their medical degree course and that's the graduate entry programme and that's called C21 North uh, and that might be of interest to uh, some of our undergrads who are looking to progress into a career in medicine later on. So I hope that's answered perhaps a few of your questions and given you a flavour of what life is like in the School of Medical Sciences. Um, please do feel free to contact us. Uh, we're on Twitter, Facebook, uh, all the social media platforms, uh, and, or you can email us, you can get in touch with us via Unibuddy, um, and we'd be really happy to hear from you. Well, I hope you're all staying well uh, and keeping safe during this uh, period of the pandemic, which will hopefully pass um, and I also hope that we'll be seeing uh, some people who've heard me today um, here in September to study with us.